Hey everyone, it's Kevin Tamura from Strama AI. Today's video, we're gonna take a look at uh, Google Agent Space. Wanted to do a quick reaction video of, um, yeah, what Google kind of put together here. Got to see it from on a demo with one of my buddies the other week, and uh, I was shocked I hadn't seen this before. So uh, it's pretty interesting. I, I think it's a really cool way, just kind of as a quick teaser. It, it feels like a really cool way to be able to potentially interact with a lot of the enterprise systems out there. Um, as well as providing an interesting platform for this concept of agents, these things that can take action on your behalf. So what we'll do is, hey, let's just dive into this video. Um, I'll just kind of let it run. I'm assuming people haven't seen this before, and then I'll kind of stop here and there, just kind of giving my takes. Uh, good or Google bad. Agent Space helps unlock enterprise expertise for employees with agents. It does so by bringing together Gemini's advanced and she talks kind of slow, so we're gonna move this up to like a 1.5 and see how that goes. Enhanced reasoning, Google quality search, and your enterprise data, regardless of where it's hosted. Let's look at three enterprise use cases that help demonstrate the value Google Agent Space delivers. Google Agent Space offers Notebook LM, the same experience millions of users love, now enhanced with security and privacy features for the enterprise. So pretty cool. I mean, this isn't uh, too new, but Notebook LM, You've seen some of the other videos I've done on just reviewing different tools. Um, something that I found helpful, it looks like they're just adding Notebook LM to Agent Space. You'll see what it is in a minute, but it's kind of a neat way to um, ingest data and be able to make sense of it, create notes, uh, you know, create these little podcast things. But it sounds like the value prop here is that they, you know, because it's in within Agent Space, it now has the different enterprise security controls that you would look for if you're an enterprise the enterprise. Say I am a business analyst and I want to dig into the earnings results of a company that I'm tracking called Symbol. I start on the Notebook LM screen available through Google Agent Space. Here I create a new notebook. So they're not going to talk about it here. They're just going to upload text files. What I actually find most valuable with Notebook LM is the ability to add uh, links. So if you look down here in the website, YouTube, it's really sweet that it'll um, ingest like a YouTube video. And so like, say, you know, you're doing account, say, take the role of salesperson, right? You're doing account planning or research on someone. And uh, it's like the C, you're reaching out the C-suite. You can throw in like, hey, they had like a, you know, hour long interview at Davos or something at the economic forum, or they, you know, they're at their customer conference. Uh, you could throw that in there and I'll actually go ahead and, and sort of transcribe and uh, you'll be able to kind of interact with that and talk with it. Um, you know, say you've watched it once, you can, you know, if it's an hour long, you don't have, you only have so much time, right? Really cool way to, to throw that in there. And upload Symbol's earnings reports from the past three quarters of 2024. In a matter of seconds, we get a generated summary of the documents. I can also have a dialogue with the uploaded content. Let's ask about the top revenue drivers for Symbol in 2024. We get a detailed answer, complete with citations for each point. Not just for querying data, I can also use the audio overview feature available in Notebook LM to develop a podcast style summary of the notebook content. Let's play the audio overview. Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be taking a deep dive. Before that fades out, they didn't cover this. Uh, obviously it's just a quick demo, right? And the other earnings, earning things, cool, earnings thing is cool. People love to show that use case. Um, what they didn't show here and the podcasting is really cool, but um, what they didn't show here is just as notes uh, aspect. So you can, what I like is that it gives curated suggestions, which I, I love instead of having to prompt it for for an output back. And it'll create a study guide for you, a briefing doc. Say, you know, say it's like a YouTube video, right? And you're going to go meet with that executive, uh, you know, from a week from now. Like, hey, can you generate this briefing doc for me um, based on uh, that, that video, right? Or like, what are the things that this guy cares about? Or what are his top priorities? Um, you do an FAQ, kind of a little study guide thing. So, I mean, again, not many people are going to go above and beyond to do all that, but just kind of neat that it's able to uh, make that information so much more digestible than what it used to be. Dive into symbol. As you can see, leveraging the enterprise edition of Notebook LM via Google Agent Space, your employees can now upload information to synthesize, uncover insights, and enjoy new ways of engaging with data, such as podcast-like audio summaries that I just demonstrated. Building on the best of Google search capabilities, Google Agent Space also enables easy information discovery across the enterprise. Let's see it in action. After logging into my company branded search agent. Okay, so I think this is where we're getting into some of the cool stuff. You see here, like the, the here's the, what the dashboard presumably looks like for Agent Space. Um, you can see kind of the 
chat history like a chat GPT thing, but I think it was most valuable if we scroll back a little bit here. And they're going to talk about this in a minute, but it's just this idea of connecting to these disparate data sources, right? These things that, you know, pre AI didn't talk to each other or talk to each other in a very basic way. You know, uh, I don't know why they call it SharePoint Salesforce here, but you kind of get the idea, right? And they're going to do a, a service desk, a service ticket demo. Um, so anyways, we'll, let's see what they got. Search agent. I query the agent for all my open P0 JIRA tickets. Leveraging one of the pre-built connectors to JIRA, the search agent is able to query and surface search results of those tickets. Not just JIRA, Google Agent Space offers pre-built connectors for the most commonly used third-party applications, such as Confluence, Google Drive, Microsoft SharePoint, ServiceNow, and more. Thanks to its integration with my company's Knowledge Graph, now I can easily share this ticket summary with my manager for visibility. Leveraging a pre-built connector for Microsoft Outlook, the agent creates a draft, and I can send the email using my Outlook account right from Agent Space. So really cool. I mean, a good example of this sort of agentistic function calling or tool calling, if you will. Um, and it's really neat seeing this work across three systems and agent space basically working as a connector. Now, really curious to see like what is the lift for setting up and configuring that workflow. Um, as we've seen from a lot of other enterprise providers, like that could be 26 steps and, uh, you know, some artful prompt engineering. But, uh, you know, the output is really cool, right? This idea of that um, you can, from this one space, you can work with not having to go into Confluence, looking for your filtering down to your tickets, uh, putting together some sort of report, generating that, and then putting in an email, and then sending it to your manager and having it all done for you. Uh, it's a pretty neat way to marry kind of those, uh, those that data source with your messaging tool, I presume like you could do it like a Slack integration or something here too, right? Which, you know, some people might be more real time like that. My Outlook account right from Agent Space. Google Agent Space gives employees like me a single company branded multimodal search agent that helps me access and query relevant data sources and make better decisions. Finally, let's look at how you can use expert agents launched from Google Agent Space to automate business functions. In this scenario, I'm calling upon so this is, uh, this is really cool. And this is kind of taking it a step further than that last example where um, you, you have some, it looks like they are creating some prescriptive agents. So agents with some defined functions. Um, and it looks like we're gonna be jumping into an expense report. So obviously these agents have been set up somehow. They don't really get into how, what is the workflow behind that. But the idea here is cool. The idea that, um, you know, it's kind of resonates with a lot of what we're seeing is that it makes sense for these agents to have a lot of this human in the human in the loop, sort of, if you will, um, experiences where we're doing a, the you as the human user are doing a lot of the uh, verification and validation, uh, as well as kicking off some of these processes, as well, instead of just running off on its own, you know, I don't think we're, we're quite there yet, we're getting closing closer on the coding side, but Let's take a look at this. On Express Expense, an expert agent created by my company to help employees like me file expense reports easily. First, I launch the agent from Google Agent Space, then let it know I have a new expense to file. The agent finds an open expense report that I already started and asks me if I want to add to that report. I confirm that I want to add it to the open report and upload a receipt. The Express Expense agent extracts the information from the receipt. All right, love that. I mean, I think that's really cool. You know, for context, when I started my career, I used to tape receipts to a piece of paper, scan it into the computer, and uh, and then manually type up all my expenses in some, I think, a sheet or something. So obviously it got to a point where I was like just taking pictures with uh, Concur or TripActions or something and take that and, and sort of populate it here. But um, really neat. I think like just for this demo, like it would have been nice if they just dumped in 10 receipts and then it was like oh hey i see this is for december like add it to the december uh, expense sheet but that's just getting just getting picky i just don't like when people go overboard with like the prompting right like just what from what we've seen people get a little scared with how to prompt like how to ask things which is super goofy but it's just the reality of working with ai anyways receipt and presents it back to me for confirmation looks like what it pulled is good so i will go ahead and add the expense Again, I took action directly from Google Agent Space, saving time and effort. 
With Google Agent Space, enterprises can now scale AI by providing a single location, where employees can easily discover, access, and launch agents for their organization. Built on Google Cloud's secure by design infrastructure, it gives you the peace of mind to confidently deploy AI agents across your organization. With Google Agent Space, now your marketers can unlock deeper performance rated insights, language support, all yeah, in that's just fluff. So anyways, yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, really, really neat seeing Google do that. I mean, just some takeaways, um, you know, it's pretty clear how they're envisioning, you know, how we're going to be working with AI agents kind of in the near term, a lot of this human in the loop action, right, where we're still bringing, um, we're kind of bringing the inputs or how to kick off these certain sequences and, and then, um, you know, it's then going and executing that task. Uh, within sort of a prescribed lane, if you will. I think that's the point of those agents on the left, like research agent versus expense agent. Um, not at the point where it's just, right, one agent, super agent that can do everything. But um, yeah, I mean, again, pretty neat. I think, again, what, what we find and what we're looking to do is, is definitely in that, um, providing the experience where you can trigger those actions, right? And, you know, we're, I think Google clearly is showing that that uh, right now, like having human in the loop to sort of review and validate what is going on is is pretty important. I think it's a step in the right direction, which is great, and I, I think we're we're kind of on the same mindset there. But but overall, just the way that you know it can connect to disparate systems, how it can start marrying those processes together that you typically did very separately in silos before. Um, I think it's really neat. So all, all together, really cool stuff from Google. I mean, check it out, Google. If you just type in Google Agent Space, you'll be able to find it. Um, you know, seems like a good value prop for people that are using Google Workspace. I'm sure there's some sort of upsell that's going on. Looks like there's a 30-day free trial for Notebook LM. Um, everything else, though, is early access. So get on that wait list if, if you're trying to check that out. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that's I think it's a really cool interface, really uh, closer to what you would what you would want from an enterprise uh, from an enterprise builder within this space, uh, relative to some of the some folks still living in that you know whatever their legacy enterprise interface is. Um, but yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Hope and hope that was helpful. Um, you know, if you want our takes on what we're doing specifically, kind of in the sales agentistic workflow space. Uh, check out what we're doing with Strama. Uh, you know, different than than what, what uh, different function than what what Google is doing here. But uh, anyways, appreciate the time. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll keep these going every once in a while. So have a good one. Bye bye.